you can look for unsympathetic sources as well. So if since Jesus' death is reported by Josephus, Tacitus, Lucian, and Mara Bar Serapian, um, you know, that provides unsympathetic sources that would mm. increase the multiple independent sources as well. What kind of criteria do these people use to discover which verses or which section of the New Testament documents are reliable? How do they do that? Well, you would use a lot of historians of Jesus would use what are called the criteria of authenticity. And there's nothing mm -hmm. magical about these. Um, they're just common sense criteria. So we're going to give a little more value, but perhaps a lot more value to something that is an eyewitness written by an eyewitness over those that are like three or four removed, right? Mm -hmm. so, uh, something that's rooted in eyewitness testimony, such as like the Gospel of Mark, which Mark was not an eyewitness, but it's based primarily on the uh, the eyewitness testimony of, excuse me, of Peter. So it's rooted in eyewitness testimony. That's going to be more valuable than something that's written, say, a hundred years later. <laughs> eyewitness, something that's rooted in eyewitness, something that's early. So if you have a report that comes within, say, 30 years of the events, that's going to be uh, more reliable, or, can, or you're going to give a little more weight to it than something mm -hmm. that's reported a uh, hundred years later. Now you say, well, what if it's written by an eyewitness who is writing 70 years later versus someone who is not an eyewitness, but is writing 30 years later? Well, you know, it's, you just work through these kinds of things. It's not a, mm -hmm. it's not a mathematical equation, right? We mm -hmm. are still interviewing World War II veterans, even though the war has been over for 75 years. Um, and their eyewitnesses, we're still interviewing them, and we regard them as entirely reliable for these things. Well, the Gospels, all four of them, it's pretty unanimous among scholars that all four of them were written um, within 65 years of Jesus. So uh, you have that. You also have, you look for multiple independent sources. How do you so, determine independent, Mike? How do you know they're independent from one another? Because, you know, the synoptic gospels have so obviously some similar elements to them. That's why they're called synoptic. How do you determine that, that, that whether they've just copied from one another or they are independent or there's a combination of both? That's, that's a very good question, Frank, and it's not so easy to determine on, on occasion. So the, mm -hmm. um, the, the thoughts among New contemporary New Testament scholars, and this includes evangelicals, uh, would be that Mark was written first, and uh, as you're aware, most do think that Matthew and Luke used Mark as their primary source. So mm -hmm. when you have uh, them giving us the same story as we find in Mark, and there's a lot of verbal agreement, then that's not an independent source. They're just using Mark for that. However, most scholars today do think that John, the Gospel of John, is written independent, independently of all three of the Synoptic Gospels. Now, that doesn't mm -hmm. mean that they think necessarily that John was unaware of the Synoptic Gospels, Matthew, Mark, and Luke, mm -hmm. but that he's writing independently of them. So if, if uh, let's say, John reports something that's uh, that um, reports the same kind of thing that we find in Mark, uh, such as, let's just say, Jesus' crucifixion or uh, the feeding of the 5,000, well, mm -hmm. that's multiple independent sources. Then you can add Paul to the mix. So Paul mentions the death of Jesus. Uh, Paul mentions the resurrection appearances, the resurrection of Jesus and the appearances. So, um, or the the belief that Christ died for our sins. So that's multiple attestation that the earliest Christians believed Jesus had died, that he rose, that he appeared, and mm -hmm. that he had died for our sins. You can look for unsympathetic sources as well. So if since Jesus' death is reported by Josephus, Tacitus, Lucian, and Mara Bar Serapian, um, you know, that provides unsympathetic sources that would mm. increase the multiple independent sources as well. We look for things, is the account, would it be potentially embarrassing to the cause? So yes. when it says that none of Jesus' brothers believed in him in John 7, or in Mark 3 when it says his brothers thought that Jesus was beside himself, out of his mind, you know, mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. in, in that case, that's kind of em embarrassing. Or when Peter rebukes Jesus and tells him that he, he can't go and die, and 
Peter, uh, Jesus turns around and rebukes Peter and says, get behind me, Satan. Um, that you know, you wouldn't make up that kind of stuff, right? So these are the I mean, criteria. The crucifixion, you know, or the women were the first witnesses. All those, that's that's those are not invented stories or invented details. That's right.